On the following day, as I woke up, I saw myself on the bed. I'm actually a doctor, so what is going on? I don't understand. At the evening time, when I came back to me, they found me unconscious. And besides, I saw a portion of substance like, which is sniper. They said I vomited blood and other things like that. It was within the space of three days. He was arraigned before the court and was charged and then remanded in the prison. I work in Havana Hospital at Akerele Shita Suleri as a porter. On the 18th of August, I was on night duty, so I resumed work on Monday. Then the following morning, the nurse said I should accompany the ambulance to, to they want to take a patient out for investigation. We returned by 2 o'clock. So when I get to the hospital, then one of my colleagues meets me and said that the HR want to see me. I said, okay, no problem. And I went to the HR office and they start telling all story and all things, starting from being, and, and all the story ended. They give, ended that, they give me a letter. I said, what is the letter all about? He said, I have been dismissed. So now give me an exit form to sign. They said I should return the hospital ID card and all that. So I went to the changing room where we normally change and my ID card and all that. On the following day as I woke up, I saw myself on the bed, a drip flowing on me. I'm actually a doctor, so what is going on? I don't understand. At the evening time, when I came back to me, they found me unconscious that maybe I collapsed in the changing room and besides I saw a portion of substance like which is sniper. They said I vomited blood and other things like that. So I was unconscious. They have to admit me. So they now asked me if I can tell what really happened. I said I can't really tell what really happened. I don't know. I don't even know if I drank it or not. Up to now I don't I can't remember anything. I spent like three days in the hospital. The now said when they are discharging me, they have to take me to police station to tell the police that I have been discharged from the hospital, that I'm okay and all that. So they now take me to the police station. I meet the IPO and everything. They so say I should write my statement. I wrote my statement. The IPO now said that my case have been already charged to court. They take me to court too. That is where they accept my case and I was charged with 200,000 and two shorty. It was within the space of three days. He was arraigned before the court and was charged and then remanded in the prison. I, I myself, I was so shocked. I was helpless and hopeless at that particular point. The Punch newspaper had to publish this and that attracted the interest of meaningful Nigerians NGOs and international bodies who came to our aid. Old grandparents had to sell a land that is worth about two to three hundred thousand for forty thousand and they sent the money to my in-law to see if it will go a long way but the money did not even go halfway. The MD of Savannah Hospital had to support with seventy thousand naira. It was then um, Olamas Cares Foundation came in and got us a shorty. That was when um, this um, NGO, Child Foundation, they are into mental health. In fact, they all, they all work together to make sure we secure the bill. But we thank God that he was granted bail a week into the protest, or else maybe he would have still been there till now. So with all the torture I've been going through in the prison, all the prisoners were beating me up. I was released on October 13 after spending one month and three weeks. So they have to take me to a facility, like a, like a psychiatry center, so they can well check me and treat me. So getting there, they check my stem, my everything. They now put me on medication, which I'm still on it up to now. He, even he, Prince Solomon himself was, was asking me if they knew they would allow me to undergo this kind of torture. 
dehumanization in this particular prison. Why didn't they allow me to die? What was the essence of saving me to punish me? And I was also forced to ask the, 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 the lawyers, why all this? And they said it's a punishable offense, a criminal offense. And I was saying this law has to be repelled. It has to be revoked. Someone who committed, who attempted suicide needs help. They need help, not for that torture. The case is not yet over. We believe with this, meaningful Nigerians will come to the aid of the family at this trying period. The Chell Foundation, our legal team, have already um, assured us that uh, be in the court in the next hearing to make sure the case is struck out. I believe from there, with all the promises we've heard, we believe um, Prince Solomon will, will be given a better life.